everybody, jack of all trades. Um, I decided to get into 9mm reloading. I've been reloading my 30 yard 6 for a few years now and uh, bought myself a Smith & Wesson M&P Pro 9mm and for some recreational shooting. It's quite expensive buying ammo. So one of the key factors in reloading is cleaning shells and it can be tedious doing it by hand. So I decided to build a tumbler. I'm just going to show you. So here we go. This is what I used. Um, this is I I do refrigeration videos, so this is a 600A refrigerant bottle, <laughs> and it's a very nice size. And uh, so what I did is I used 110 millimeter uh, toilet waste pipe fitting. So this. Thing. you buy all of these fittings loose um, so what I did is I just placed it on the bottom side and uh, just drilled holes and now it's such a way that I can put my whole arm into it obviously you need some uh, agitating plates um, I'm going to try and put the light on you can see that's um, just aluminium aluminium pieces of angle iron so I basically just riveted them obviously I wanted to be watertight so I used this special uh, silicone rubber on the inside to blanket off and there are four of them on here or in there so just gonna chuck my bullets in there let me just show you the base it's old roller blades <laughs> um, some of the wheels are a little bit busted uh, the rubber is coming off so I'm gonna see how long this lasts doesn't really matter I can just break it off and shift the wheels in and just adjust it that way it's just old stuff that I used and eight millimeter uh, threaded rod with a bearing just to run across the side and that side of the drum. Hey, there's my cat, Mr. Gray. And uh, another one on this side, just to keep the drum from not swinging left or right. This is an old coffee machine motor. It runs 87 revolutions per minute, I think. So this thing just slides on there. And it just lays there. I just mounted it on the wood plate. So we're going to start it up. So that you can see what it does. If I can get this thing in. I think that's a very good speed. I'm not sure I'm going to run it and see what happens. So you see it every now and then. It wants to touch the bearing if it wants to move. And that one over there. So it doesn't really go anywhere. So uh, there you have it. I'm going to be doing uh, uh, videos now on uh, 9mm reloading, telling you the things that most people don't mention. I've done a lot of research on the internet. So uh, stay tuned for more information. Like and subscribe.